Hey, y'all. Welcome to Storytime with Nani Pop. I'm Nani Pop, and I love reading. Love, 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 love it. I hope that in the time that we get to spend together, you will go out and find these books, put them on your shelf, and read them again and again and again with me or with those who love you so much. From my heart to yours, here in Texas, story time with Nani Pop. Wordy Aunt Birdie, a Texas tale for living well. Written by Connie Ellsbury, illustrated by Cheyenne Reese. Hey there, cuticans. Pleasure to meet y'all. My name is Birdie, and I'm an auntie. My nickname is Wordy. Stack all that up like pancakes, it's a one, two, three. Wordy Aunt Birdie, a Rhode Island red hen. That's me. I live with my boy down off County Road 43 in Pleasanton, Texas. Come on in close, get comfy, and snuggle up so I can tell you about stumbling onto a special, one-of-a-kind pup. It was a hot, humid Texas morning. I was venturing to the Friday Farmer's Market. And as always, being wordy. Apples, berries, corn. A, B, C. Pluck a walk a walk a dandelions, eggplant, figs. D, E, F. Walk a walk a walk a. Wordy, wordy, birdie. G-O-G, what? There was something crying in front of me. A little ball crying out, couldn't make it out. Sure sounded like a pup in the rut. I set down my basket and I moved in closer to help out. Cluck a walk a walk a walk a walk a cluck a. So here's where the story gets a little quirky. Remember, I'm a chicken, not a turkey, and I'm blind. Yep, I went for a wild ride when I was just a fluffy wee chickadee. A swirling dirt devil got a hold of me and danced ma through the trees. <sighs> when it decided to let me go, my eyes were no more. Things were different, but no need to get down. Without my sight, I got real keen to sounds. Loss of sight makes every day like night, but no need for fright. I've always known everything will be all right. Cluck a walk a walk a walk a walk a cluck a. Now back to that little crying ball. I step down into the rut and take him for a little lost mutt. I took him under my wing, and I wanted to lead him to the best of everything. Poor little fella. At the coop, I gave him food and water. I loved on this little guy, and the days breezed by. I named him Borland because that's the name of the town where I found him. Borland told me how he was thrown into the back of a truck, and when the truck hit a rut, he flew out, landing directly on his face. The crash landing made sure that Borland never grew teeth. I knew all about losing things and always made Borland a tasty mash to eat. I help him, and he helps me, just the way it should always be. Borland loved Aunt Bertie and did all that she suggested. Their friendship had not one day that it was ever tested. It wasn't long before Borland grew to be a huge, big, huge fella. There wasn't a predator that would come near. Bertie had nothing to fear. Whenever storms rolled in, Borland shielded Bertie and held on to the coop. Bertie and Borland were the best of friends. 
They had great times and laughed and joked. Taking dirt baths was one of their favorite fun times. Birdie would get wordy. Borland and Birdie. Cluck a walk a walk a walk a walk a cluck a. Two country critters eating on fritters. Happy, happy and strutting mutton flappy. Birdie and Borland. Walk a walk a walk a cluck a walk a walk a. Then, one afternoon, a traveling peacock named Percy stopped by to see Birdie. It had been a long time since he had been by, way before Borland's arrival. Percy took one look at Birdie and Borland sitting side by side at the pond, and Percy screamed, Oh, Percy! and proceeded to pass out. Falling to the ground, Birdie heard the noise and recognized the voice. Percy? Percy, Lord have mercy, what just happened to you? Percy slowly sat up and said, Birdie, that big fella is a bore. He's a danger. He's a threat. He'll hurt you, my dear Birdie. Run away with no regret. Birdie shook out her feathers and put a wing around her friend Percy. My dear Percy, Sometimes it's not what others see. Sometimes it's not what we wished it would be. I can't see, and he hadn't a tooth in his head, but what we have together is better than butter on bread. I help him, and he helps me, and our love for one another is undeniably the greatest gift that could ever be. We don't have any reason to fear one another, and I'm not going to start that now. Borland walked up to Percy and Bertie with a bucket of water to offer them a drink. Mr. Percy, I would like to let you know it was Bertie who saved my life. I'm grateful and so happy. She makes me laugh with all her wordy ways, and together we have the best of days. She didn't have to do any of it, but she did, and continues to every day. The very least I can do to repay is to protect her from harm's way. We are two country critters who have lost a thing or two, but together our losses gave us our lives' biggest gain to feel the love from the other's heart. There's nothing that could ever tear us apart. Bertie then walked over to Borland and pulled him in close. Cluck a walk a walk a walk a walk a cluck a. My boy Borland, best son a wordy hand could hope for. Walk a walk a cluck a cluck. Waka waka. Come on, Percy, let's go eat. Birdie, Percy, Borland, walking down the street. Cluck a waka waka. Walk a waka cluck a. This Texas tale just ended well. <laughs>